Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about transit time effect as the limitations and losses of conventional tubes at microwave frequencies. So now let us see what is the definition of transit time. Transit time is nothing but the time taken by the electron to travel from one electrode to another electrode, nothing but cathode to anode. See here the figure shows the direction of electron, suppose this is the electron gun electron gun when it is energized the electron is traveled from this plate to this plate electron is going in this direction okay electron when it is going it has to travel a distance d with a velocity v naught okay so transit time is defined as transit time is defined as the time taken by the electron to travel from cathode to anode to travel from cathode to anode so we can uh, we can indicate this as tau tau is equal to time is equal to distance by velocity so that transit time is equal to distance d for which the electron has to travel and v naught which is the velocity through which the electron has to travel okay so where d is nothing but distance or separation between plates and v naught is nothing but velocity with which the electron travels velocity of the electron now let us see the two types of energies the static energy and kinetic energy static energy for this electron static energy static energy so static energy is equal to just e into v e into v or we can say e into v applied voltage v is nothing but applied voltage across the plates and kinetic energy kinetic energy of the electron that is equal to of m v naught square of m v naught square v, so kinetic energy is nothing but which is generated with the motion that's why it is of m v naught square so at equilibrium we can say at equilibrium static energy is equal to kinetic energy so e into v is equal to half m v naught square okay so v naught is equal to 2 e v by m under root so here v is nothing but applied voltage and m is the mass of the electron e is the energy of the electron so now tau substitute this value v naught substitute v naught in tau tau is equal to already we know d by v naught that is equal to d by 2 e v by m under root okay so now let us see what happens at high frequency and what happens at low frequency with respect to this transit time okay so yet low frequency yet low frequency the time period of signal the time period of signal is very high
compared to the transit time compared to the transit time the time period of the signal is very high compared to the transit time at low frequency because at low frequency is nothing but time period is more time period is very high hence the plate current the plate current input will immediately flow after the application of after the application of grid voltage after the application of grid voltage you can say it is vg grid voltage vg <laughs> see what happened at low frequencies the time period of the signal is very high <coughs> compared to the transit time hence the plate <coughs> the plate current input will immediately flow after the application of the grid voltage okay so as the time period is very high we can say just immediately after the application of input voltage like a grid voltage immediately the current starts flowing between the plates from cathode to from anode to cathode as the electron is moving from cathode uh, cathode to anode so at low frequency at low frequency tau is less compared to the time period tau is nothing but a transit time of the electron and t is nothing but time period of the signal so time period of the signal is nothing but this one this is the time period so immediately after the application of grid voltage vg the current starts flowing plate current ip okay now the same case with respect to high frequency we will see so at high frequency at high frequency the time period of the signal is comparable with respect to the transit time with respect to the transit time that means we can say tau is equal to t transit time is approximately equal to the time period of the signal hence what about this current flow hence the plate current the plate current will not flow immediately after the application of after the application of grid voltage vg after the application of grid voltage vg okay in the previous case he has the time period of the signal is very high immediately the current starts flowing between the plates but here as the time period is approximately equal to the transit time the current will not flow immediately after the application of grid voltage it takes some time hence the transconductance may be negative or we can say it is a complex value so hence in this case in this case when it is when the frequency is very high the transconductance the transconductance may be negative or we can say it is a complex value we can say it is a complex value so yet high frequency 
said high frequency tau is equal to t and it takes some lagging between the input application of grid voltage and input current input current at a some angle theta and the time period is also very less comparable with respect to the tau okay so to avoid this effect the transit time should be reduced so to avoid this what we need to do the transit time the transit time should be reduced see here in the first case there is no problem as low at a low frequencies the transit time is very less compared to the time period but at high frequencies the transit time is comparable with respect to the tau because both are same and the current will not generate immediately after the application of input voltage okay so this is the problem because the time period is approximately equal to the transit time so we cannot reduce the time period because the time period is associated with respect is uh, uh, having a relation with the frequency as frequency increases time will definitely reduce so one thing is we can reduce the transit time tau okay so that is the one of the remedies that we can follow so to reduce the transit time what we need to do to reduce to reduce tau either we can decrease the distance or increase the voltage either we can decrease the distance or increase the voltage from the formula okay because we can we have calculated rho v is equal to d by square root of 2 e v by m so as distance increases tau increases so we, we reduce the distance the tau may be decreased or if we increase the voltage the tau may be decreased so but by decreasing the distance may increase the inter electrode capacitance Okay, in the previous video, I have explained the inter electrode capacitance. Inter electrode capacitance decreases as distance decreases. But if distance increases, again, inter electrode capacitance distance decreases, inter electrode capacitance increases. Okay, since capacitance, we know C is equal to epsilon A by D. If distance decreases what about the capacitance value increases so as distance decreases in order to reduce the tau one method is to reduce the distance but if we reduce the distance what is the problem capacitance value increases central electrode capacitance increases okay as the distance decreases the inter electrode inter electrode capacitance increases inter electrode capacitance increases okay so therefore the selection of the distance between the plates is a compromise between the electrode capacitance and as well as transit time therefore the selection of capacitance selection of distance not exactly capacitance we can say it is a distance selection of distance is a compromise between inter electrode capacitance inter electrode capacitance and transit time inter electrode capacitance and 
transit time okay we need to choose that distance value which should uh, satisfy both of these parameters because if we increase the distance value tau increases c decreases if we decrease the distance value tau decreases okay but c increases okay so it should be a compromise between these two values okay this is about the transit time thank you